Baby Reindeer's real-life Martha suing Netflix for staggering $70 million The woman who claims to be the real-life Martha Scott from the hit Netflix series Baby Reindeer is suing the streaming platform for a staggering $70 million. American lawyers representing her have filed a complaint against Netflix in the United States District Court Central District of California, demanding a jury trial. The documents, obtained by the Daily Record, reveal that Richard A. Roth and his New York firm, Roth Law, accuse Netflix of defamation, intentional infliction of emotional distress, negligence, gross negligence, and violations of the woman's right of publicity. The complaint begins by quoting the first episode of Baby Reindeer, stating, This is a true story. Baby Reindeer, Episode 1, and calls it the biggest lie in television history. The lawsuit alleges that Netflix and the show's creator, Richard Gadd, fabricated the story out of greed and a desire for fame, resulting in the defamation of the plaintiff, an innocent woman. The plaintiff's lawyers argue that the series falsely portrays her as a twice-convicted stalker who was sentenced to five years in prison and sexually assaulted Gadd. The lawsuit claims that Netflix did nothing to verify Gadd's story, failing to investigate whether the plaintiff was ever convicted or the nature of her relationship with Gadd. This alleged negligence led to the destruction of her reputation, character, and life. The woman's legal team is seeking actual damages exceeding $50 million, compensatory damages for mental anguish, loss of enjoyment of life, and loss of business, all profits from the series, punitive damages believed to exceed $20 million, and attorney's fees. The series Baby Reindeer became one of Netflix's most popular shows, depicting Gad's ordeal with a deranged stalker who had been in prison for a historical crime and was sent to prison for stalking him. The character Martha in the series Torment Scad's character, Donnie Dunn. Internet sleuths easily identified the character as being based on the plaintiff. Netflix and Richard Gad's lawyers have been approached for comment but have yet to respond.